Hey guys and welcome back to Landstriders Futures Edge mod pack. We are playing on Landstriders servers. Thankfully, very graciously sponsored by Aim to Game for us. If you want to get yourself a server capable of running any mod pack you choose, Aim to Game are your guys. So for the past couple of episodes, we have been going around doing a whole load of building stuff. And I thought today we might actually just go around and do a few quests. There's a few low hanging fruit, if you will. Like if we have a look in the gear, we could go make ourselves an iron set of armor. We could probably even make ourselves some dark steel equipment uh get the tech tree on the go get a few of these quests done and finished but i think the first thing we're going to do as i say is go and make ourselves a brand new set of iron armor now this is solely for the quest if you look here i still have a relatively nice set of iron armor on the go but that's fine i really don't mind and now i believe it's about 20 odd bits oh i've only got 13 bits of iron uh, we, we can deal with this though, we can deal with this. I've got absolute shed tons of stuff to be cooked away here. Oh look, there's even some real glass. You know what I'm going to go do with this glass? I'm going to go perform the magic trick that I showed you last time. We're going to wander on in here. <coughs> We gotta wander on in here uh, and take this glass and put it in the quite clear glass drawer, compacting drawer here, not compacting drawer, just a drawer, and it will uh, add on to the quite clear glass total, which is amazing. Gonna grab a few of these just to shuffle a few things around in my storage. These guys, these iron golems, I cannot stop them multiplying. Every time I kill one, and yes, I do attempt to kill one every now and then, two pop up in it in their place. So yeah, I might just call them Hydra from now on. <laughs> Maybe we could change their textures to uh, make them look like Hydra. Uh, there, let's put those away. Do we have the iron that I'm after? Now, I'm fairly sure the majority of you have seen a set of armor get crafted before, but, oh, will you look at that? I am uh, three bits of iron short. It's almost, almost as if the furnaces are willing to provide for me. There we go. So that now gives us access to this quest here, Iron Defense. I've done all those, and we get to claim a heart and something back in return. Now, do I want protection, an anvil, or a block of iron? I'm going to go for the anvil, because it's three blocks of iron plus some more. All right, cool. Yes, nice. Uh, another thing I want to do that I saw was a relatively easy thing to do with these crates. Uh, wooden storage crates. Now, I could use them over here with all this sort of stuff. I'm going to pop this... Um, excess armor away here oh bevel guys on that's nice uh right where are we gonna put the anvil i think we're gonna put an anvil right here for now i'm sure these will end up moving you know most stuff does i could actually see me ripping out one of these fern eye and putting that in its place instead right we were gonna get some creosote because creosote is the key component to treated wood and we need treated wood for the crates yes we do okay so that's the the creosote itself we'll come over here and grab i think a couple of birch logs should just be two to get this working if i remember correctly it's creosote in the middle with all that around the outside cool and let's just uh, double check the crate recipe as I, I didn't actually know how it was made wooden storage crate yeah indeed it was exactly how i thought it would be done just like so oh yeah was that only the one that we needed was it just the one it was just the one what are we going to claim in return some treated wood some wooded storage crates or a block of iron that looks like a dark crate i'm going to go with the two wooden storage crates might have been, oh i didn't actually click it might not have been the best plan but we're going to go for it anyway now over here they want some reinforced storage crates so let's try and figure figure out how that's made i saw a backpack going there uh we get some treated wood planks iron plate which i presume is yes iron hammered down with the with the hammer funnily enough uh and some iron rods okay we we can do those Pa -pa -pow! Reinforced storage. I have no idea what I'm going to use this opposed to the the other ones for. But let's uh, let's put one down, and maybe we can transfer all these books into there. Oh look, I pick up some hearts. Nice. So these should just be yeah. These these function just like chests, right? Yeah, it looks like it. It does look like it. Oh, can I break it by hand? We can break it by hand. Awesome. So what I'm going to do for now is to pop these up and in here because you know. I'm I'll end up using them for some storage at some point. These crafting tables need to be made into something a little bit more useful. 
Uh, and of course, we were going to take the woven forestry backpack because that will allow us to deal with all our tree stuff. I think the backpack is going to be a little bit more uh, useful than the diamond block that was offered. We have a couple of quests that we did not complete here. Uh, I'm going to get the storage upgrades. They, they seem like the better ways to go there. And this lock it down. What can we get from that? We can either get more storage upgrades, more frame drawers or a personal key. I'm going to go with the more storage upgrades. Because why do I need a personal key? We're, we're on a, a semi-private server, so everything should be all good. Now, I do not have a chest for storing storage stuff in. Uh, so perhaps we can name one of those. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that now. Let's grab this, empty all this out, take a sign. Sign's always important. Uh, and I think this trap chest here, we're going to call store storage. Of course, storage. Uh, and we'll put all these in here like this, the, that upgrade. Is there anything else we need to put in there? I mean, the, the backpacks can also live in there. Look, I've got five quarter hearts. Should we deal with that right now? Um, nom, 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 nom. Do I have any more in here? No, here, here. Oh, oh, I can even go ahead and do a little bit more. Arr, 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 arr. 14 lives. Wow, no danger of uh, fully dying on this pack so far, which is a little bit saddening, if you ask me. Just a, just, just a touch saddening. Right, I will be back in a second when I have figured out exactly what I'm going to do next. So the next few quests kind of tie in together. So we're going to come into our maintenance area here to do a few things. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm producing a load of coal coke here and I'm starting to get quite high on the creosote front so I think what I would like to do is make myself a little tank now I do believe it is like this yes indeed I was a little worried that the outside would have to be swapped around you can see we completed a quest with that this is what I mean by a few of them tie in together now what am I going to get a block of iron some seed oil or pressurized fluid conduit hmm Oh, you know, that last one looks kind of useful. And I will tell you why. Because I was about to dig away a hole in the floor here and pop the fluid tank down. And then I was going to do all this manually. Because, you know, why not, really? But the reason why not might be the fact that we actually get access to the fluid pipe now. So should we... Should we do that? I can't I can't see why seed oil would be more of an issue. We've, we've got the squeezer, so we can make seed oil whenever we want. Ah, there's no noise. There's no, I always pause for the little noise that's going to tell me that I've done well, but it, it doesn't do that. Yeah, great. Uh, okay, so we want this one to be an out without signal, or how about always active? Perfect. Now, is this draining? It has drained. Yeah, you get out of there. All right, brilliant. The next thing, now, the whole reason I was making this cold coke is because if we come over to the blast furnace, I'll be making some steel ingot. Uh, you will notice that I'm also doing it in blocks because the wiki tells me that's a little bit more efficient, uh, a little bit quicker, if you will. But in here, I've already been pulverizing some some coal uh it's not really pulverized it's sag milling isn't it and that's been feeding into the side here and then we put the sil the steel ingot in as well and now we just need to wait and wait for a very long time because that bit of dark still there is that enough to finish the quest i can tell you now no it is not uh let's have a look dark steel boom yeah no we need eight and that'll be eight bits of dark steel. All right, detect that. It's going to hand them in. It's going to consume them. But that's okay because we get a dark steel block back, which is actually nine bits. So we're doing quite well there. And I'm also going to take all these other bits of dark steel block because whilst the anvil does actually hold more dark steel within it, I can't break it down into ingots. Whereas these three blocks, I definitely, definitely can. Now, did that give me enough? How many is it? It's 20, 36. Look at that. You know what we're going to go do now? You know what we're going to go do now. There's another line on our quests if I come over here and have a look see inside we've got the gear see all these dark tools the ender and high-tech defense well I'm gonna start with the ender because it is just it is just the weapon that you really really want uh, believe me it does just about everything so we're gonna gonna start with that I have a single stick on me which was very fortuitous and there is the ender get out of here you little iron sword nobody wants you anymore we've done that so I'm gonna hand it in it will consume it but then we get to uh, make some choices here looting three sharpness five or travel and empowered now the travel and empowered I believe is stuff that we can put on our sword ourselves so i think i'm gonna go for looting yes yes i am i did it 
Are you, you can't you can't stop me now. It's happened. Now, if I press the U on here, you can see that we can use the Ender and a Vibrant Crystal to empower it. And once we've done that, we can then start thinking about the Travel upgrade, which is something that we really, really want. But for now, we've got a Looting Sword. In fact, I'm going to just swap these around. I do have somewhere where the Looting Sword will be super, super useful. Uh, but I think we can get on with the next bit of quest. Uh, if we come out of here now is it just the pickaxe or is it pickaxe and axe it wants us to make okay that's pretty good uh we'll have the fortune free one probably yeah why, why would we not do that okay so i need a couple more sticks say a couple i need four more sticks thankfully it's nice and easy like that that's the axe and there is the pickaxe oh yeah now i believe these also get handed in oh no it was a detect cra a crafting task okay so i'm gonna take this uh, fortune soul bound one though i'm gonna have a quick look at the dark bow power five soul band yeah, it's nice but it's not quite what we're gonna go for or some and the next thing we need to do is get our entire set of armor equipped and I'm probably going to go for those vibrant crystals. Okay, so let, let's deal with that now. We do indeed have enough tw two sets of armor in one day. Oh, man, uh, you armor buffs out there in for a treat. I, I, I am blown away. I am absolutely blown away. All right, look, look at that. Look at all that nice setup there. Um, so it says, yes, we have done that armor. I'm going to go for the Vibrant Crystal, as I say, because that is the thing we need to upgrade a whole lot of stuff. Uh, indeed, I'm going to start doing that now. I'm going to start with the Looting Sword. Now, this is where I find out I actually needed the Dark Crystal one. No, no, it works. Okay, we're going to do that. I'm not sure how we're going to empower it, actually. I'm not sure how that will be a thing. Now we want an Ender Crystal. How do we make an Ender Crystal? I hope it's something relatively simple. Pool. Uh, it should be ender eye ender crystal okay so we need an enderman soul vial and a vibrant crystal so to do that we can do that we can do that we need to come in here and have a look at the quests uh, in the tech tree one of the ones we want is the soul vial okay so we can definitely do that is that an enderman soul vial right there that's what we want. Okay, so let's see what it needs for us to make the soul vial. Empty soul vial. So it's some fused quartz and solarium, and solarium is gold and soul sand. Do I have soul sand in the uh, in the storage at the moment? We do. Look, look. One, two, three. Uh, we're just going to grab a few, uh, and I think we'll grab... A few bits of gold as well. Is that all of them? That is brilliant. Okay, let's go over to our alloy smelter and see what's going on there. Also, would have like to have a look at the blast furnace. Definitely going to have to think about emptying out our inventory soon. Okay, so we cannot do any more of that for now, but we can pop those in there. We've still got an empty slot. I'm not sure why all this tin... Oh, because there's loads of tin. Let's go put this away quick. Have just noticed that we're carrying around four hearts here. Oh, it's so good. So good. Let's get a little bit of food inside us as well great um oh do you reckon if i kill the golems with the looting sword i'll get more iron back i should do right that, that's kind of how it works yeah uh so that's the one bit we needed there oh in fact it's even three of course it does it in threes we know this uh and we should be able to go one of those up top and then a little bottle underneath ah uh, it's fused quartz not quite clear glass ah ah oh that that shouldn't be too hard i do believe in fact if i just double check the fused quartz is actually oh come on, it's here somewhere oh man three stacks of four gives us three okay we, we, we can do that i do actually happen to have an awful lot of quartz most of them most of it has been got off of those geonarches these are the guys that kind of spring out from you uh, spring out at you from ore veins let me just get that back uh weird weird inventory management things on the go at the moment one of my bad Backpacks swallowed the quartz. There we go. We don't. We don't want that. We do not want that. And I just sorted out my inventory. Oh, great! It's always good, right? You know, it's always nice to to have your inventory in some random order that some mod developer decided is the one. It took ten bits. Really? I was expecting nine or twelve. Ten. Hmm. Okay, so we got the fused quartz. Am I going to make two bottles or just the one? I think I'm just going to make the one, even though this will lead to me having to find out how to store other things. But this should be good. Your soul belongs to me. Yeah, if you say so, mate. We're going to take this Enderman vial, as I had said. And I think I'm going to have to go empty my inventory, guys. I, I will be back. So there's a few things I want to do before the end of today's episode, and they all have to do with upgrading my sword here. Uh, the first thing I want to do... 
is to work on the Sterling generator. Now, this is relatively simple. We've just got a kinetic dynamo to make, and I can do that on camera here because I don't have to go around and find everything to make it. So we'll just quickly make one of these copper coil blocks, and then after that, we put some redstone either side and iron underneath, and that is the kinetic dynamo right there. I think we need a stack of cobblestone to make a few furnaces. Uh, that was a couple too many. Uh, we will just leave the cobble lying around. Uh, and then I also needed uh, a piston or two. Now I think I should be able just to jump that in there. There's two pistons. Great. Everything is going super smooth. I had already made two gears. Now I'm kind of hoping this sterling generator, let's pop it down here and have a look. No, it does not. So this can make power for me, but it will not be able to put power into my sword. Now I'm kind of hoping that the next quest that opens up is one that will help me with that. The tech tree here, we've done the sterling generator. Let's have a look inside. Uh, I'm going to get this coal coke. Mm, I mean, the energy conduit could be useful, but I'm going to get that cold coke. And this raw power. Okay, so it wants us to make a whole load of power. That's a thing. I was kind of expecting it to want us to make a capacitor bank. Let's have a look and see how to make one anyway, because I'm going to need one. Here we go. We've got the creative capacitor bank. Pfft, I can't do that. We can make this basic one, though. What is required? Some iron ingots, a block of redstone, four basic capacitors. All right, basic capacitor bank. That, this is what we need. Now, we're going to take this and the sterling generator over towards our maintenance area over here. And I've got a feeling we're going to start changing this place. This is not big enough, not, not even slightly. Now, we could just have it for these... Uh, coke and uh, steel foundry but i've got a feeling we do a lot better if we kind of dug down a little bit maybe have a decent stairway coming down there maybe have another one coming from here to down there and then we both both meet up for a stairway going over that way to get underneath the grub ting yeah yeah that might be a thing but anyway for now Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't even know what we're going to do for now. Let's put the sterling generator there and the capacitor bank there. We should have the opportunity to charge things up here. Yes, brilliant. Okay. The next thing I want to actually check, you can see me looking up to have a look. Let's go get some power and a connector. This, of course, is probably going to be horrifically inefficient. You're not going to let me place on top of there. Brilliant. So let's try from there to there. Okay, that's looking good. Does this get power yet? Is, is this even... Oh, it is. It is. So let's put that in there like that. And I think we'll burn, oh, I don't know, some oak wood planks. And this should then put some more power in. Oh, I love it. We can see just underneath the durability there. I would use my mouse to indicate, but obviously if I move my mouse, that's not going to be any good. You see underneath the durability there, we're already at 15,000 RF. Ah, oh, amazing. So the reason I wanted to power up my sword before I went on made the next machine is, well, let me just grab this guy here. I've also been out hunting overnight and I managed to get myself a creeper skull, an enderman skull and two zombie skulls. I only needed one, but having the two will be super useful. I also have a whole load of stuff in my inventory that I really, really don't need. Let's go and click this to see what disappears. A lot of stuff, but not everything. Okay, that's a little bit better. Not not much, but a little bit. I'm carrying two beds on me at the moment. Super safe. Super safe. Okay, so we're going for this soul binder. Now, we need four bits of solarium, which I think we may have a few of. Let's have a look in here. We've got three, so I need to grab myself a piece of gold and a piece of soul sand. And we're going to go have a look at the alloy smelter. Well, I say have a look. We're going to go use the alloy smelter. We need to cook this down. What else do we need whilst I am doing this? We will need ourselves a machine chassis, which I think we actually have a spit. Will you let me through the door? I would think we should have a spare one kicking around somewhere. I'm going to move that shield as well. It seems a little bit big on my screen. I should have one here. Brilliant. Awesome. Great stuff. 
top notch. We need to go and grab the solarium out and then we should be ready to make the final craft of the day. Oh, wow. I say the final craft. I think we're going to have one more thing to do before the end. So let's get the soul binder. Where is he up there? We should be able to just click it in. Brilliant. Okay, love it. Now I'm going to try and think about how we can rewire this. I kind of like that back. Can I break this just like this? Broke my iron pick when I was out and, out and about. I had to make myself a stone one. I feel like a savage. Uh, now I should be able to pop that there and then use this to go from there to there. Okay, is it still receiving power? This is the main thing. It is. So I can pop this bad boy on top there okay there's a nice little ender io stack we're probably gonna move this Ooh, i don't know thinking about it to one of those rooms over there but oh the door shut on me but uh yeah i'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do now i am after an ender crystal now this this thing we need because i want to get the travel um ability onto my my sword now to do this i'm gonna to have to go make a ridiculous trade i'm gonna get one two three four five six seven eight of these oh yeah don't worry about why i'm grabbing some gold that will become apparent later okay let's pop all those up there now i need to go find brian you guys remember brian uh he's my progressive weaponsmith that we keep around somewhere Brian? Here we go. Brian the Weaponsmith. Currently asleep, but that's not going to stop me. We're going to trade up. I would like one emerald. I know, eight bits of iron, one emerald. It, it almost feels quite painful, but given the amount of iron we're getting for every bit of ore, I think we're going to do okay. Uh, next episode, we're probably going to make the grinder, which is another step before the sag mill, so we can get even more stuff. Okay, I want to throw these three in here. They're going to cook down and make some energetic alloy. I also need a... Ender pearl and ender pearl. Let's let's get the grammar correct here. Move out the way, boys. Thank you. One of those is a go go. Do we only have two iron golems at the moment? I met. There may have been a small cull that happened a little while ago. Uh, let's get in here and. Well, when, when everything catches up, I want to take this energetic alloy out of here and pop that in with an ender pearl. This is going to make us a vibrant alloy, which is what we need to surround this emerald in. Okay, I grabbed the vibrant alloy. Let's pop that out there. Um, emerald in the middle, vibrant alloy nuggets all the way around the outside. That makes another vibrant crystal. Incidentally, that's how I managed to level up all my armor and my ender sword. Uh, I went through that exact same process. Now, over here, we should have something that we chose for a qu quest reward earlier on. The soul vial of an enderman. Yes. Uh, I need to go around and capture a few more creatures so we can do a few more things. But if we put the vibrant crystal and the soul vial in, four levels... It takes my levels, awesome, and it actually gives me a little little few left over. I was only expecting to have one, I have two, but as this fills up, we should finally get ourselves an ender crystal. Now, I've got a feeling this is actually going to take more levels than I have on me at the moment. 16 levels. That's actually a lot. So 16 levels is a lot of levels to get out of a spawner that you have not put any sort of, like, machine work around the outside. And I've also got to say, I mean, this dark armor, it really does do a wonderful things, but I don't think I like the the look it gives me. Anyway, we've managed to pick ourselves up 16 levels, so I'm going to take that, the sword in my hand, and the ender crystal that we made over to this anvil. Going to pull it out of the anvil and grab ourselves a small little power here. Now, why did I do that? Oh, it's so I can teleport. I mean, just, just look at this. It's not very useful the way I do it, but there we go. Look, I can jump up and down now. With the boot, with the ender boots, we can jump down. What? What? That, that shouldn't have taken any, any full damage off me. Oh, well. So with the ender boots, I should be able to fall down. And with the sword, I can teleport back up. But we managed to get a whole lot done today. Well, mainly we got this sword done. But we got a whole load of machines done around it as well. And I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this tech field adventure. Let me take my hat off. I will see you next time where we're going to do some more things. I, I'm going to deal with that nether hub behind us. I have a plan for it, so we're probably going to get on with that. We're going to try and move some of those machineries out or maybe make an underground base where we can put some more of the machines. And maybe we'll do a little bit more with forestry. But yes, I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye! Do you like my shield?